When Paul O'Grady was offered his own travel documentary, it seemed like a dream job. It was a chance to kick off Lily Savage's high heels and enjoy the high life for a couple of months. But it didn't take long for the novelty to wear off. You try it. I've had nothing in this hotel for bad manners. Open them curtains, maybe, and I'll open a vein. I'm telling you now. We did very, very long days. I mean, often, you know, six in the morning till extremely late at night. After just two weeks travelling across the USA, Paul had had enough and went on a drinking binge in New Orleans, followed closely by his long-suffering crew. I went on a bender, just went on a bender. Right, sir, let's have another drink. Next thing I'm up singing. Tuck up your cold and refrigerated mamas. Glad to see the polar bear's pajamas. The crew said they could hear me at the top of the street. They said, Frank and Johnny. <laughs> I was even looking at me. I'd had enough by this. Oh, shut up. This is total anarchy. This is... Excuse me. Thank you very much. But no matter how hard Paul tried to escape, the crew caught up with him. Come on! Hey, that's a nice bar. Yeah, it sure is a nice bar. Yeah. Look, it's not a crime, it's just to have a baby. Come on, girl. I'm up. I'm up. Oh, no, I'm not. Get us up. But I didn't care by this stage. I wanted to go home and had enough. And was he grateful for the support of his loyal crew? Not one bit. But that's what you do when you go away. You get blind drunk. You don't go away to look at gardens and museums, surely. 